I believe it was in the fall of 1993. I just started trying to put together an acoustic solo act and I needed to learn some more songs. And I ended up buying a uh, used Grateful Dead songbook at a local music store in Bowling Green, Ohio. Well, on the inside of the songbook's cover, written in blue pen, uh, the original owner of the songbook must have given this book away and had left a handwritten dedication to a friend. And this dedication was signed by the former owner, revealing his identity as a musician named whom? Because you always knew it was from his heart. You can just tell by listening to his music that it came right from his soul and it came right from his heart. And he wrote those words down when he was thinking it. Anytime I'm feeling angry or upset or depressed or happy, I listen to Bob Marley. He totally puts me in the mood and makes me feel great. Riders on the storm. A man who died before his time, he is my preacher. Into this world we're thrown. And to watch this man move to his music and just this soulful. And it sucks either. Riders on the storm. There's a killer on the road. His brain is squirming like a toad. Rock martyrs, that's really fucking bullshit. They're fucking dead. They did what they did and it's over and it's done with. So why fucking glorify them because they're not making music anymore? It doesn't even fucking matter. Take it on holiday. Let your children play. If you give this man a your CD boy? Yeah. No, what's in your CD boy, Mr. Camera? When they die, are you gonna give a shit? It doesn't matter. Like, good for them that they had like a really good fucking career, but they're dead. That's it. I mean, forget it. But no, no, he had a good idea. I know he went with it. And I will say that, like, I'm really sad that you know he killed himself. I mean, like, a normal guy just wanted to make music, and he makes good music. Arrow catches on to it, and then they, they make him a martyr, which makes him want to kill himself because he's not that normal guy anymore. It has nothing to do with their music. I mean, you know, move the fucking camera a second. Can you understand that? It doesn't matter if they kill themselves or not. Like, did they write good music? Great, they did. Cool. They're, they're, you know, I'll listen to their fucking albums or whatever, but I don't know. It's bullshit. Girl, you gotta love your man. Take him by the hand. Make him understand. You depends on life will never end. God love you, man. Yeah. Love your man. Girl, you gotta love your man. Naked 
I guess in a sense, it's a, a not really an escape mechanism, just living life to the fullest, you know? You don't have, you don't know when you're going to die. You know, you could die tomorrow, you could die years from now. And I think that just living each day to the fullest, doing what you want, living your fantasies and your dreams, I think that's what makes it matter most.